Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? My name is Eric, and I own and operate a mobile store that is inside an old school bus. So here in San Diego, my store is called Backtrack Vintage and I literally took a 17 foot school bus and I gutted it and I made it my store. And we've been in business for a little under a year now and today I'm going to share with you the things that you got to know if you're thinking about starting your own mobile store. So I don't want to waste too much time, let's dive right into this list, let's get to it. Number one on the list. So number one on the list is you have to know the rules and regulations on mobile businesses in your city, state, town. And it really does vary from place to place. There is no black and white answer on what you need to do federally or nationally to be in you know, a mobile store. And it can be frustrating at times because a lot of businesses and local governments, they just don't have a lot of regulation. Tons of places have been kind of hip to uh, the food truck in that world and in that industry. So there's a lot of places that actually have things on paper um, that are regulations for mobile food trucks. But you're not a food truck. I mean, maybe you are, but I think the majority of people that are tuned into this, you know, they're trying to open up a boutique or a store or or something different. And again, there's just not a lot of information. So you really got to do your homework. Um, City Hall is a really good place to start locally if you're in a smaller town. If you can't find it on their website, literally get in the car, drive there, and try to talk to an actual human being and try to get something. Um, because you really need to know uh, what you're allowed to do and what you're you're not allowed to do. And the last thing you want to do is make you know the city or the county or the area irritated in in you and your idea and what you want to do. Getting into number two, probably the the second most important thing that's next to the first one is you need a vehicle. Now. My vehicle is a 1994 Ford school bus. It's an E350 school bus. It's 17 feet from the front to the back. It's a short bus. It's a cute little ugly gray thing on the outside. Now, yours doesn't have to be a school bus. It can be a trailer that you literally hook up and you drag from place to place, or it can be a sprinter van, or it can be an RV. The possibilities, honestly, are endless. I've seen so many cool stores um, but I would say the big main four are school buses, RVs, um, vans, and trailers. So figuring out what's going to work for you and your business and your budget. Mine, uh, for example, I spent um, $2,000 on my bus. They wanted three. They didn't get it. I talked them down to about two grand, and I put the rest of my budget into getting things uh, back to where they needed to be under the hood. And then I literally spent the rest in doing my build out. So that was removing all of the seats that was laying brand new floor that was building out shelves. And so honestly, like I said, this is totally on you on how much you want to go. I know people who have done their mobile boutiques and they've spent upwards of 50 grand on them before they even had, you know, their launch date. So really, I don't want to tell you what's good for you, but maybe you've got a loan. Maybe you got private funding. Maybe you have a savings account. You can literally decide what you want to spend. Um, I think the biggest thing that you need to, to think about when you are going mobile is if you do have a vehicle that has an engine above everything else, that is probably the most important thing that you need to maintain. Because if you have a vehicle where you're going to be driving your store from place to place or market to market, well, how are you going to do that if it's broke down? So making sure that things under the hood are good to go. And then I would say second to that is your interior. Moving on to number three. I think the third most important thing that you need to do when it comes to you know doing your mobile store or starting a mobile store is really taking some time in laying out the interior. Um, if you have a mobile store and your idea is that people are actually gonna shop inside your vehicle, well, it's gonna be really important that that feels right. And you know we're working with a very limited amount of space, right? You're probably inside a bus or an RV and things can get real cramped real quick. So it's gonna really be important that you make sure that you do some drawings, sketch some things out, or if that's not your forte, talk to somebody. You know, a lot of stores have people that are in um, visual merchandising. That's people who literally specialize in how things should look in a store. For me, I talked to my buddy that I used to work with at Urban Outfitters and I had him put eyes on the space as well because, you know, I don't know everything about business and I definitely didn't know everything about visual merchandising um, before I started this. And so 
literally getting as many people to look at that space and go, this would work, this would work, or this feels a little tight, it's gonna be really important. Don't be afraid to reach out to somebody. Don't be afraid to get in your car and go to a boutique in your town and introduce yourself and be like, hey, this is my idea, this is what I'm doing. Can you just help me out? Can you look at my space and what you think you would do? Um, honestly, the more ideas that you have and the different you know things that you can get to possibly lay that space out, uh, the better. All right, moving on to our fourth and our final thing, and I think this is probably one of the most important ones too, is network, build relationships. When I started my store, it was because I had struck out trying to actually get a brick and mortar store um, that I could be open Monday through, you know, whatever I wanted it to be. I would either be ghosted by the landlord if, or if the price was right, it was in the wrong location, and if the location was right, the price was too high. And so I literally started my mobile store because I was so frustrated and I, I was tired of hearing no. Um, but with that being said, as a mobile store, you're gonna compete with other boutiques and stores in your area. And I think one of the most important things that you can do to kind of be proactive in the situation is to go meet and network with other store owners. The last thing you wanna do is um, make these other boutique owners and, and stores you know, feel like you know, you're just dropping in and you're taking over their territory. I'm all for um, competition, and I think competition in business is great. Um, but I also know that the last thing you want to do is pull your mobile store right up to another store that sells the exact same things that you sell and just say, hey guys, we're open for business. And so wherever I go, wherever I take the bus, wherever I'm going to be, I always try to go into an actual shop. I try to introduce somebody to who I am. Hey, my name is Eric. I own this store. If you see this weird, creepy bus uh, parked outside on the street, it's me. Um, and that really does help make people, one, know who the heck you are, but two, honestly, building a positive relationship in the community where you're doing business is never going to hurt. I'm a big advocate for uh, community over competition. And so anytime that you can be in, in the good graces of the shop owners that are there and they are paying rent every single month and they maybe are on a super cool street or a super busy street, a dope location, it's always good to just show respect to those people and um, introduce yourself, especially if you're planning on being in their area consistently. Um, another thing that networking does is it opens up you know, tons of opportunities for your business. I can't tell you how many things I've been able to actually do in this first you know, year just based off of being nice or meeting people or, or I met this guy who knows this guy who says, you know, it'd be perfect for your bus to be parked here. We've got an event coming up. So being positive and being friendly with everywhere you go, um, honestly, is gonna be one of the most important things that you can do, especially starting this business and uh, especially on your journey of being a mobile store owner. And there you have it. Look, that is the short list of how to open up a mobile store. Do me a favor, I'm starting to put videos out more and more, so hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified every single time I make a video just like this one. And leave a like on this video if you got some value. Hey, if you have a store, look, leave the link to the Instagram below in the comments. I'd love to check it out. Um, or maybe you have some more questions. Feel free to leave those questions for me in the comments. I try to get back to everybody the best way that I can. All right, until the next video, we'll talk to you soon.